Okay, so we're going to look at a really simple do while loop in PowerShell. And the do while loop allows you to run a set of code until a certain condition is met. So the way you do it is you start with a do, and then you have your set of code that you want to run until the condition is met inside the curly braces. Then you follow it with a while, and um, you will have your condition inside of the parentheses. So let's look at what I'm doing here. I have a little variable that is going to um, add one to it every time that this piece of code runs. So I'm just adding uh, one to this variable. So it'll, it'll count upwards is basically what I'm doing here. It's a counter. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's going to output the count to the screen. And my condition is um, a test path commandlet. And what it's going to do is it's going to check the existence of a folder. And um, if, if that folder exists, then this commandlet returns back a Boolean value of true or false. So I have the commandlet wrapped inside its own parentheses because I, I want it to uh, run this evaluation first. I want it to pull a boolean value of whether that folder exists or not and then I want it to um, do an evaluation and see if if it matches with what I want the result to be. So I'm saying uh, test this path. If, if it's true then go back and run this code again. So what's happening here is it's just going to keep running until that folder doesn't exist. So let's run the code. And you'll notice that it's counting up very fast. Every, every single one of those numbers is an evaluation that it's running on this second um, set of code we have here. So now I'm going to delete that folder. And let's see what happens. Do you want to send it to the recycling bin? Yes you'll notice that our code stopped because when it ran test path after I deleted it this test path returned a false and false does not equal true so it stops the loop um, and that's it that's how you can run the do whiles you you have your your curly braces first and then you have your parentheses and um, you can put your your condition in there and uh, it can be used for a number of different things I know um, some people will create little programs that monitor a process on their computer, and if the process's uh, status um, is anything besides running, a warning will come up, and, and you could do that by um, adjusting this code a little bit. So that's, that's all. Thanks for watching.